I'm here today standing outside this beautiful magnificent church look at that absolutely spectacular magnificent piece of architecture but it's about hell and religion why women are so suppressed you know I've studied epigenetics which is the science of not just our genes but because we've got the same amount of genes as a potato or plant but actually what makes our genes express turn on the breast cancer just because you got the gene doesn't mean you're going to get it you know so we are not our genes so one of the newest sciences is epigenetics which means we inherit from our ancestors a lot of their traumas and unresolved issues so one of the unresolved issues like what they do though is they're mostly researching men but women are the real change you see because we're not just 50 50 DNA and inherited memory of the mum and the dad we're actually also the incubator just like when they thought they were studying the, the genes, right, the actual DNA. They missed the fact that um, it was a message. So they were, they were washing off the spool that they took the DNA off so that they could read the DNA because men like to measure things and science was a man's world and still pretty much is, even though there's a lot of female scientists, they're trained by men. So everything has to be measured, but their mere measurement tools mean for example, a lot of the female studies we read about are actually the results of boy mice that were castrated at birth. Now this is a fact. This still happens today in 2017 that a lot of tests are actually um, the female results that you read about, that your medications were tested on, are in actual fact mostly tested on male mice castrated at birth called then the female subject ah chiming nice and in time i'm waiting for the church to open because i'm going to burn a candle for the nine million women that were butchered and slaughtered for having a vagina within 300 years nine million women were killed called witches we're still scared of them today because we actually bought into the bullshit story and you know, I'm staying at a hotel just down here, down this laneway here. And at the end of the street, just across from my hotel, is the women's weighing station. So they would weigh the women, the priests here from this church here. They would have been from this church, obviously, if it, um, but it was all to do with religion. Because if women had the power to give birth, then they could be right up there with God, which would mean that, well, that just can't be. So what they would um, do is weigh them if they weighed thin and light that meant that in their eyes <laughs> egotistical um, patriarchal maniacs called priests that um that we must be living on herbs therefore a healer a witch which when you think about it um, healing with herbs is what we're going back to, isn't it? So we were just natural healers. Women had the instinctual knowledge for what heals what. But we were deemed witches. Had our heads cut off in front of all of our own generations. I'm not trying to make you angry or scared. I'm trying to educate you because when you actually know this, you can realize that you, when you understand epigenetics, that you inherited, you inherited unresolved traumas from the past so one of the traumas I would say associated with this was oh my god I can't be myself because if I'm really me and I'm in my body and I'm I'm operating on intuition I could be deemed a witch therefore killed and be taken you know my who would raise my children and my grandchildren and so on so very very interesting that women very long ago I mean as long back as as religious history that we study and that we have to read about and and um, you know all of the current history we know that we read about in school books is um, doesn't even touch on this that the woman a woman being born with a vagina meant you could be deemed a witch and killed nine million women in 300 years think about that so this is just history, it's just real. It's pre-patriarchal days when we were, the, the last time we were 
um, innately natural females being in our gender. Naturally, I mean. You know, where where it was okay to be a woman and we didn't have to try to be a man in a man's world. We didn't have to try to be anything but what that which we were, I guess, like a rabbit being a rabbit and a mouse being a mouse and a house being a house. You just be you what you are. We women have not had that privilege for 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 thousands of years. So why are we so surprised when we look at epigenetics that we've inherited the need to not be ourselves, or we could be killed. Women live in fear, they do live with such terrible anxiety, three times more than men. You're more likely to have um, depression or anxiety and find yourself sitting on a doctor's chair. If you're a woman, they don't even test hormones, mind you, <laughs> that which we are, um, because you can't measure that in a, in a um, research you know, you can't document that in a white paper and be famous. So they have to um, castrate boy mice instead. I um, keep linking these back together because I want you to get it. I'm hoping you get it because this is why I created Creatrix. It's a process that disconnects you from your inherited suppression. I know it sounds corny, but we're just getting crazy results. We're getting women that get their periods back that haven't had period for more than five years. We're having women ovulate that could never ovulate. We don't make any claims health-wise, but what I'm saying, it seems to be that we're bringing back the, um, the innate capacity that women have when they're fully allowed to be themselves because we take that suppression out. They've, they don't doubt who they are. They know who they are and it's a beautiful thing and it's, we've got to do this. We have to take this to the world. And now I'm not trying to sell you something because I don't really care whether people believe um, the power of creatrix because I've got it proofs in the pudding. We've done over a thousand women so far and we've set them free to be more innately them than they've ever been. So um, this is because of a lot of my research on this stuff. You've got to understand epigenetics is real science. There's a university in every capital city of all over the world, but, but, they really, <laughs> even when the evidence presents itself, they're still testing. They're not understanding the power of the woman or why they would want to study the incubator. We are passing on the inherited shit through the feed tube into the young. It's not, we're not 50-50, mummy and daddy. We're 50, 50, we're 50 plus the entire incubator that takes the one cell that comes together from the 50-50, divides it into uh, the 10 to 100 trillion cells that know to have the knobby knees or the green eyes like great grandma 422 years, uh, generations ago. But also to bring through the, the traumas. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a third generation domestic violence and um, you know my children were fourth generation uh, sexually um, assaulted as children. Actually, none of us escaped. They say one in three to five women um, will cop child sexual abuse, but it seems to be we didn't, none of us got away. So interesting, you know, that here I am, I'm going to go in there as soon as it opens this church. I'm going to light a candle for those nine million women. And I want to bring not just hope, but solution to women all over the world. So I'm just here for the purpose of opening up this country, bringing Creatrix, the new female psychology, that simple, painless, strips this bullshit out, resets women to feel whole and complete, very, very fast, and never go back. I'm so proud of the women who have taken the leap of faith to either try Creatrix, uh, or become a facilitator. So look, we need facilitators. We do need to get this out. This is freaking crazy. We need to break these cycles. So if you know anyone that might want to be a facilitator, can you please send them to instituteofwomen.com and get them to book a call because we need facilitators. We're running out of the Netherlands here now. We're running a big opening launch event next week, but also um, we run courses out of Australia. Just, just. We only take on a limited number of facilitators because we really want quality versus quantity at the moment because it's just such a special privilege to help women release this stuff out of their genes and just see that incredible change. But it, it anyway, 
I'm going in here to light the candle. I'll love you and leave you with that. Please don't take this on as a negative message, but just take it on as hope, that, that there's hope, there's solutions, and that it is the, the era of the woman rising back, not becoming something she's never been, but regaining herself back in her purest innate way of being that which she really was born to be and that which she was really created to be. The magnificent creature who is emotion and who produces life inside of ourself. We can grow a brain inside of our body while running a brain. It's pretty freaking powerful. And so we need to get our natural way back. So here's to women all over the world. Hashtag setting women free.